Hi everyone, it's Dr. Noni here, GP, and today I'm in mourning, but also celebration of the life of a wonderful man of God, a bishop, the Bishop of Woolwich, a right reverend, a doctor. Dr. Karowi was a senior colleague. We attended the same University of Lagos in Nigeria. And I'm standing here to celebrate his life with the mourners of St. John's Upper Holloway in North London, which is where I more or less grew up. But I didn't meet him there, actually. I met him in 2013 when he um, came to my uncle's 80th birthday party. My uncle was one of his parishioners, the late Godwin Undu. I've never seen a man of God, a vicar, come for someone's birthday party. And he was such a warm man. And then we got talking. In fact, I just felt like I'd known him all my life. And immediately he found that I was a doctor and I went to his alma mater. That was it. We just became friends. So we became friends. Even from Canada, I would text him and he would say, Noye, how are you? Are you looking after your dad? Because he's also my father's pastor. That was before, in 2017, he went on to become the Bishop of Woolwich. And I remember that I was there celebrating him so proud that a, a doctor from Idiaraba, so this is Idiaraba in Lagos, they could ascend to that position of a bishop of Woolwich in the Church of England in, in England. And so it's with great joy that I want to celebrate my friend, my pastor, or my father's pastor, but in association is our pastor as well, and a wonderful colleague, Right Reverend Dr. Bishop Karawi Dogu. And I also want to send my sympathies at this time to uh, Dr. Musu, who is also our senior colleague, his wife. I don't know how God will comfort you, honestly. You've lost such a wonderful man. But I pray that you'll be encouraged by this video and the other tributes which have been sent to honor you and your husband. And I want to also celebrate you. 36 years of marriage is not easy. And to stand by him and be there at his side. I know you are not always the a prominent one, but you're such a good wife and an example to us all. And so I want to salute you. And I want to also say to people of St. John, uh, where I am today, we're just waiting for the cortege to come along so we can pay our respects to the bishop. Uh, thank you for having us and also sorry for your loss. It's a big loss. He was their pastor for 19 years over and he did such great work. The tributes are so moving. You know, for a Nigerian, uh, well, Nigerians are always known for the, for, for the best of things in London, but for a Nigerian to come from such a humble background, be the first Nigerian bishop in the Church of England and to bring a great caliber of people in death as well as in life and it was such a moving tribute that we had at the cathedral which was officiated by the bishop of Southwark, the archbishop John St. Welby, uh, Archbishop of Canterbury was also there in attendance. It was such a moving uh, tribute. The homily was paid to him by his former curate, Reverend Daniel. It's just such an honor. I mean he just brought together all different all kinds of people from all walks of life. He was the they say he was a good with um, Ikea, he was a good DIY person. He did all sorts of wonderful things. He really helped a lot of people. He was still a doctor at the heart of it all, a GP to the heart of it all. And so as one GP to the other, I salute you, sir. Rest in peace in the bosom of our Lord. I leave you with pictures of Karawi, the church, the cortege, and uh, please pay your tributes below. Thank you, Dr. Mani signing out. Comfort. I, uh... I took over at St. John's Church after uh, Carraway left and the privilege of following him and his friendship. He was always phoning me to encourage me. He was always smiling when I saw him. He was the loveliest, lovely man. And uh, in our own way, we, he was a unique and wonderful man who uh, we were grateful to have known. And uh, we'll know we're going to meet him again. And his faith inspired us and uh, we'll go on inspiring all these people. So, privileged to have known him and uh, thank God for him all the time. Thank you very much. Oh. Outside, just waiting for the cortege to pass by. And as you can see, the sea of mourners, the sea of mourners, all paying tributes.
Okay. So, uh, um, to, to the animal family, we're thinking of you and we're sending you our love and our prayers. Uh, Caraway is going to be so deeply missed. He was so important to us as the youth in strengthening our faith and, and helping us to really strengthen our love in God. Um, and I always carry that with me and I always carry him in my heart. Um, but I'm happy now knowing that he's going to be with Josh. So, And we miss, we miss Josh too today. So. so the whole family, my wishes are with you guys. It's beautiful to see everyone out and just celebrating Car Caraway's life and he's always going to be in my heart. I hope all the family as well and Josh and Caraway are together now and it's an amazing thing to just see everyone. Thank you. Hello, hello everybody. Um, under not unfortunate circumstances but as you know our hearts are dearly with you guys at this time and we are all thinking of you. Caraway was a big major part of all of our lives and my lives and Uncle Caraway I know you didn't get to know but I've you know reached out to Christ and I'm, I'm in my discerning year and we're nearly there and I know you'd be proud of me and we absolutely adore you and every single thing you instilled in this community not only in me not only in, in Geraldine yeah. in the school in the community will live on so you're gone from sight but not from our hearts and we will think we live and think about you forever God bless, God bless you. Thank you. Hello. I'm very happy to be opportune. my drama. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the day given by the Lord. He said we should be happy and glad. You know, as much as we are supposed to be happy and glad, we now have to remember our wonderful pastor, Caraway, and a bishop now, because he's been a very man of God. God sent him specially when he came. In any place he visited, you can see his elegancy of work and how he done something. So the whole church now came today to say, Father God, receive his heart. Because I remember when he comes here to see my brother, who is now departed, they were thinking and talking about uh, religion. And when I came to meet him, I saw the same thing goes on. He's a man of God. He never seemed to be annoyed. He's still a person willing to help anybody, even in a church. As long as we mentioned anything, he will tell you, you go and wait, we are coming. And actually, he will come and get this thing going. That's why we can say we are not happy, but we are not God to say we are not happy. And to, to receive his heart in goodness, in presence. And for those, his wife and children, shall continue in a peak to live as his son. Because he's impacted those things to us uh, church uh, members of uh, of uh, St. John's Church. Father, please receive his heart in peace so that he will continue, even up in heaven, he will continue to do the work which you sent him to do. Thank you very much, everybody, gentlemen. And then I know it's a loss, but it's a loss that we can bear. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. <laughs>